What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today, guys. On the top 10 sneakers of 2019. Give it a round, give it a round of applause, guys. Woo! We throw some fireworks on there popping up. Oh, woo! Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, stop. Guys, we finally have made it to the end of 2019. It's been a extraordinary year. There has still been a couple of other shoes that's releasing, but those can go ahead and get pushed into 2020 at this point. And I wanted to sit down with you guys and give you my top 10 sneakers of 2019. Some of these I own, some of these I don't own. That's why I wanted to break it down to you. If I recently did a 2019 pickup video, but this is stuff that I ain't even get my hands on. A lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff that I took L's on and cried about. A few I did cop. But for the most part, I took a lot of L's this year. A lot. But without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. And let's get straight into it, man. There you go. Coming in at number 10, guys, is the Nike Adapt BB. These initially released on February 17th during All-Star Weekend. And I had to put this on the list mainly for the technology that was at hand. And the fact that it was something that everybody was able to get their hands on. It was a very big shoe, a big moment in sneaker history, in my opinion, as well as many others out there. And for that reason, it, it earns that 10 spot. It may not be the best looking shoe. It might not be the best priced shoe, but for the technology and what we are expecting to see in the future, Nike did something very, very big when it came to this shoe. And for that reason, I had to give it its applause and I had to put this one at number 10. I own a pair myself and they are actual, they're actually good basketball shoes, I have to say, for the most part. I'm not no basketball expert, but everybody's had good things to say about those shoes and there hasn't been that many malfunctions yet. So I have to give it up to number 10 to the Nike Adapt BB. Coming in at number nine is the Yeezy 350 V2 Black. Now these are released on June 7th and this is pretty much the Yeezy 350 V2 Zebra of 2019. This thing has dropped, I believe, on Adidas and on Yeezy Supply and recently restocked on Black Friday. It's one of the most prominent Yeezys that dropped this year as far as the 350s. And it being in black was a very easy colorway that everybody could pick up and match with something. And for that reason, I had to put this one on the list at number nine. This is one I don't own myself. I was trying to get my hands on it, but at the end of the day, I do own, you know, breads. Uh, they, they, which are very similar in my opinion. So I was kind of like, whatever at the end of the day. So I was cool with it. I didn't pick up that many 350s in 2019. I got the Lundmarks, I got the Clays, and I got the Statics, but I recently sold them. So that's about it when it goes to 350s for me in uh, 2019. Coming in at number eight. Now this one is definitely a very high one on my personal list and as far as sneaker pickups, but I'm gonna put this out as a popularity content. This is for everybody out there. I think the overall feeling. Personal versus with overall is always gonna be different. And that being said, the Jordan 1 Chicago to LA, or LA to Chicago, my bad, the Defiant. I had to put this one on the list. This has been a shoe that, for the most part, when NFC dropped, it had a lot of hype behind it. There was a lot of people that was loving it. The shoe, you know, went up and down in prices and since forth, it's skyrocketed. It's now it's in the $600, $700 price range. I was able to get these things for $400. I was actually watching like the stock market on this shoe and I was able to get my hands on it. And it being a one, there wasn't that many ones that dropped this year that had a bang to it like that. There's a lot of good ones, but not that had the bang to it. We know one for sure that's gonna be on the list a little bit later, but this one in particular, compared to all the other ones, this one really had a little bit of a hit to it. I mean, you had the Fearless, you had the Shattereds, you had the, the other Fearless. I mean, you had the Nikes. It's just a lot of stuff that was dropping down in the ones. But this one, I would say for me personally and to what the people on the looking around, this one had a little bit of a bang to it. And I had to put this one at number eight and I threw it in for all my own personal feelings as well. Let me know if you feel like that makes your top 10 list though in 2019, I would love to hear it. And by the way, this initially released May 25th. So let me know. Coming in at number seven is the Yeezy 380 Alien. Now this recently dropped on December 12th and for the most part, it went out with a bang. I mean, we've been seeing this shoe for quite some time. We've been wanting to get it. I didn't get it, so I'm taking the L on that. But I know that multiple colorways are coming out in the future, so I'll get my hands on something down the road. This is so much of a good shoe that it made the 2019 list, and it more than likely will make the 2020 list moving on because this is, this is gonna be a big shoe. You saw that the Yeezy 350 V2 
Black just made it. So just look forward to this shoe being on 2019 and on 2020 because they're going to go in when it goes to the 380 Alien. But for the most part, great shoe. I love it. I love how 2020 is just going to have so much new Yeezy stuff coming out. That's what I've been waiting on Adidas to do and they're finally doing it. It's all about preparation and it's all about timing and they got something up their sleeve, man. 2020 is going to be big for Adidas. Coming at number six is the Jordan 6 Travis Scott releasing on October 11th. This shoe for the most part is a banger. You know what I'm saying? A banger out of the Travis Scott's that have came out in the past, the Jordan 4, the Air Force One White, the Air Force One Sail. You got the other Air Force One that recently released that many people love as well. Uh, the one with the zip, which could be on the list as well, but I'm gonna let you guys know it didn't make the list. It didn't make it, so I'm sorry. But Travis Scott has been going out with a bang, and for the Jordans, he's been killing it. So for that reason, I had to put this one on the list. Me, took an L again. The fakes were just too good for me to even risk buying resell. So for the most part, I'm gonna just take my L and be defeated and, you know, just sit and wait on it, man. Just wait on it. Coming in at number five is the Jordan 4 Bread releasing on May 4th. This one was a banger. You, you, some of you hype beasts out there like, how dare you put the, the four before the off-whites? I mean, um, how you dare you put the four before the Travis Scott sixes? Listen, man, the Bread 4 was one of the biggest releases of this year. It was a GR that got swallowed up. Pause. Unpause. Pause. I don't know. Whatever you want to take it. Everybody was able to get their hands on it. We're not looking at the hype. We're looking at how many sales this shoe did. This shoe sold out. It did its thug thizzle. And everybody got a pair. Jordan Brand made more money off the bread than they did off of Travis Scott and pretty much every other shoe that dropped this year. For that reason, you got to put it and give it its respect. This was a classic sneaker. I would say probably this is the second best Jordan that released this year as far as classics. Uh, you know, as far as just Jordans, you can go left and right on how you feel, hype or whatever wise. But this one was a banger. Number five. I had to put it on there, man. Nike Air on the back. They're sitting in the back and they're going to be always there, man. They're going to be ready to go on the foot whenever I need to get outside with it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Jordan 4 bread. Coming in at number four is the off-white Nike Air Force One MCA. This originally released on July 20th and it was a shoe that, bro, it just came and went like, like that. You know what I'm saying? This is a dope looking shoe. It's the Air Force One with that colorway. It's the color. It's the color that's banging. And then the fact that it's off-white, it gives it its, you know, its due diligence and the hype behind it. We ain't gonna lie. But this shoe came and went. I don't even remember seeing it on sneakers. I don't even know if it dropped on sneakers. I don't even know nothing about the release on this shoe. I've I seen it said July 20th. When did that happen? I, I, I'm just still sitting here waiting on this shoe to actually go on sneakers. App. I don't even know if it did. But the shoe itself showed that Off-White still had it. Virgil still had it. The hype was there. And it wasn't that many Off-Whites that actually stuck this year. I mean, you had the the um the what's them joints them them the damn kigers the um what's the other one called the one with the, the two female one the, the a whole bunch of female off-white women off-white shoes were dropped this year but this one came with a banger i believe they had a full size like family size like women and men on this one this is a great looking shoe that i had never seen and never touched in my life and i'm hurt I'm hurt. Coming in at number three, this one may be number one on a lot of you guys' list. I'm trying to balance this out, and I hate to put it here. Me being the Jordan lover that I am, I would have probably put this one at number one, but I gotta call it how I call it. Now, the Jordan 11 brand, number three. The biggest selling shoe, more than likely of all time, I'm waiting, we're waiting to find out the, the analysis to that. More than likely though, it's the biggest selling shoe of all time. There was two million pairs, and pretty much every pair sold out, as far as I know, you know what I'm saying? So. We'll just have to wait and see, but I'm pretty sure it is already solidified that this was the biggest sneaker to ever sell in history. Um, the Concord previous last year was that number one slot, so more than likely the bread will overcome that. And for that same reason, as I stated with the bread four, I had to give the same love for the Jordan 11 bread. But there is two other shoes that just had a little bit more of a on it. You feel what I'm saying? That, and that's why I had to do that. I mean, the bread 11 is a classic shoe. And it's all about bringing something different to at the same time. I love classics, but at the same time, I love innovation. And for that reason, number two and one is where they are at. And the number three is the Jordan 11 bread. But we did recently get this um, December, uh, what day was that? December 14th. And it was a great shoe and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Coming in at number two, this is definitely a hard one. Number one and number two can go either way pretty much in my book. More than likely, you guys can let me know which one you think is number one down below. But that is the Sakai Waffle release, the Sakai 
LDF waffle, Nike collaboration. The whole Nike collaboration with Sakai was amazing, but the waffle itself was dope. This that the, that that pack was all the colors, amazing, amazing. They they brought something new to something old and flipped it, man. It was this amazing shoe that I took L's on in every single direction. I was getting beat up like Mike Tyson. Bow, 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 bow. It just never came. It never never had a chance. Never had a chance. Never had a. a, a uh, uh, anything with that shoe, just straight L's, L's on the forehead with that. But it was a wonderful release. Bull's calling me right now. Yo, Bull. Oh, Bull's calling. Let's see what Bull's saying. Bull. Hey, I'm shooting a video right now. I'm putting number two as my top ten sneakers at uh of 2019. You know, guess what my number two shoe is? Your number two? Yeah, I'm at number two right now. I don't know. Did you, you, you already talk about Brett Levens? Yeah. That was number three. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, actually. I can't even tell you. You want to? Can you show your face to the camera or are you scared? Uh, not right now. Oh, my bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I put Sakai Waffles. Uh, I was going to say that, but. You I didn't want to ruin it for me? Yeah, I didn't know. I yeah. Didn't know that was, I didn't know if you were feeling like that. Yeah, I, I, am I cool with that? You respect that or no? I mean, my number one was Sakai's. Well, all right. Well, let's get into number yeah. one. Y'all ready? Let go. Coming in at number one, I had to put this one here. It was a battle. In all honesty, Bull, the Sakai could have been one to me also, but number two or one, either way. Number one, though, I was going to give it to the, to the Travis Scott one. Released on May 11th. Took the L on that shoe automatically. Bull got his pair. Bull, why wouldn't you put the Travis Scott at number one over the Sakai? Oh, so you put oh you put the six I over the six one. Over the one. And why is that? This color or what? I mean, the one is cool, but I like how the, I like the six more. All right, we heard it here for. I mean, personally, I mean the reverse swoosh is cool. Material is cool. Stash bag is cool. But I, I mean, the one is a to me, it's like an easy shoe. Like the one is always gonna win because it's a one. I got a great idea, bull. That me and you could do on my podcast sometime, like today, tomorrow, or sometime this week, whenever you're free. Um, Bull, when's your video dropping? Of what? Your top 10. I've already dropped one, but I gotta drop another one because it's, it's a, it was a lot of stuff that I didn't get this year as well, so I got another one to drop. But I dropped one already. Well, when's that one, the one you just talking about dropping? Um, next week. Okay. Bull, this week on the Two Wild Podcast, me and you, let's do a tier on there. And we'll put a whole bunch of shoes, and it'll be like an S, A, B, C, D tier, like that, of the sneakers this year. A tier list. Yeah, I'm down. And me and you just do it, and we'll just make our own tier list along with the chat, and then figure out from there how it goes. You heard it yeah. here first. Stay tuned. Go and subscribe to 2 Wild for TV. Go subscribe to Bull RC. Go subscribe. Go turn on that bell so that me and Bull go live. We'll probably do it sometime this week whenever me and him are free. By the end of the week, if not, you'll know. I'll have a picture of me and Bull smiling like the fake YouTube thumbnail, like, and then me and Bull, and it'll be the tier list. We're going to do that because that'll be something dope to do. But, yeah, guys, you heard it here first, man. Number one, the Jordan 1 Travis Scott. I personally picked it. I just liked it. The one has always been like the banger. Travis Scott killed it with the one, did a little flip. The six, he did his own little thug thizzle too with the pocket. But I felt like with the, with the one, it was a little bit more. The backward swoosh, the stash pocket, the labeling on there. It was a lot more going on just to me personally, even though it was a Jordan 1, which is the basic shoe. I just feel like it was a little bit more of a <laughs> into it. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is, but that's my number one. Let me know yours down below. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know your top five, top three, whatever you want to let me know down below. And make sure you guys turn on that bell, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned because we got some bangers coming soon. Checking in, checking out. Peace.